In this video, I'm going to show you five combos using a flatline Scorpio. I've tried to put in as many different moves as possible, so I really hope you like it. As always, make sure you have been taught safely how to do any of these moves before giving them a go. Apprentice to a flatline Scorpio, to an inside leg hang, to a handstand, to a stag handstand variation, into a climb over. As you go from your apprentice into the flatline Scorpio, you want to lift your apprentice up a little bit higher than usual, just so you have enough height as you end up in the handstand. Your outside hand is then going to come on in a twisted grip as you bring your outside leg over the outside shoulder and switch the legs over. It's a bit of a tricky position, but it will feel like a butterfly, even though it looks nothing like it. You want to use the circle of the free leg and the push of the bottom hand to be able to take your head and shoulder past the pole to end up on an inside leg hang on the other side of the pole. If you keep your inside hand on the pole, you should hopefully have enough height to be able to take your outside hand to the floor and push while you pull with the top arm. You can then open your legs into a nice little straddle and then hook the outside leg just higher than the ankle and bend the inside leg to hold this little stag handstand. It should be quite nice and easy to slide from the ankle to the knee pit and you can use the momentum of sliding to the knee pit to help you take the outside hand off the floor and crunch up bringing both hands above your top knee so you can pull all the way up to come into a figurehead and then stepping down on the floor. Of course you can add something else on the end if you want to but I feel that's enough for this little combo. Extended butterfly to a flatline Scorpio, into a broken bird, to a legend, into a twisted grip Aisha. I'm sure you've already tried either your butterfly or extended butterfly to a flatline Scorpio many, many times before. If you want to make it spin a little bit more, use the back ankle circling around towards the pole to give you a nice big spin. Of course, if you're working to camera angles, you don't have to spin that much. For the broken bird, you need to switch your bottom hand in the flatline Scorpio. If you have enough stomach grip and leg grip, you can take that bottom hand off and take it in your knee pit gap before taking your outside hand low on the pole. The more you crunch your outside knee towards your chest and then bring your body as close to the pole as possible, the easier it's going to be to hook your bottom elbow, clasp your fingers and straighten out this outside leg for the broken bird. You should have enough grip in the stomach and the inside leg to be able to take your hands off of the leg off of the pole and lean back into the pole. And just a little pretty pose from here is to cross the outside leg behind the inside leg. And that's quite nice because most of your grip points remain the same so you don't have to try too hard. You can go to an Aisha or a twisted grip Aisha from this position. If you want to go to a twisted grip Aisha, the inside hand comes back in the knee pit and then your outside hand can push nice and low on the pole before you turn your chest towards the pole and look to the ceiling for your Aisha. If you want to go to a split grip Aisha, you would take your outside hand back on the pole. So let's just go for the twisted grip for now, as long as your shoulder is strong and stable to be able to handle the twisted grip. Otherwise, split grip is always my favorite. <laughs> Flare, to a flatline Scorpio, to a star, to a Superman, into a little Superman pose. For this combo, I'm showing you on a static pole, so the flare will stop and it's up to you how much you spin in this position. When you first do this, try not to let your flare spin for too much because you'll be too low to finish off the combo. So just do a little flare to start, see how you go for height and then add more spin on when you're ready to. Once you've hooked your inside leg, you can come into your flatline Scorpio. You're turning your body into the pole to come into your star. So you can pull with the top arm, push with the bottom arm and cross your outside leg in towards the pole. As long as you press your inside leg or your bottom leg into the pole as soon as possible, you should be able to hold your star a little bit off of the floor. As long as you have a nice bend in your top arm, you should be able to lean away from the pole. Bend your top knee and feed this knee through the gap between your top arm and the pole. 
and turn this knee towards the floor before coming into your Superman. A nice little variation on a Superman pose is to cross your ankles at this point, but keep your thigh squeezing as much as possible so you don't lose that thigh grip. You can step down to the floor to finish from here, or if you want a bit more thigh grip pain, you can lower your hands to the floor and lower your legs to the floor like you're doing a little wheelbarrow before rolling away from the pole to finish. Lift to a flatline Scorpio, into a brass monkey hug, into a sneaky V, to a Remy sit, to a little straddle, into an invert. You want to make sure you lift into this flatline Scorpio so you have enough height for the rest of the combo. Start to take your outside hand towards the pole as you cross your outside leg in towards the pole and you should hopefully be able to feel a lot of the weight going through your arms to help you bend the outside knee and hook behind the knee to come into this little brass monkey hug. And there are loads of different variations for this move so come into any variation you think is pretty. If you take your hands back into the grip that they were in or that they usually are in before you brass monkey, you can then straighten your outside leg and circle this leg behind the pole before bringing the front of the ankle into the pole. That should help you have enough grip on the bent leg to then be able to crunch up before going into your sneaky V. The more I kick the outside leg over the outside shoulder, the more I feel I can tip and take my hips over my head for the sneaky V. It's quite nice that you can let your butt fall back into the pole to hook your bottom knee before coming into the Remy sit. As you come to Remy sit, try not to let your butt push past the pole as you'll find that you lose quite a lot of grip for this Remy sit. So I tried to keep my body slightly to the side of the pole until I've hooked my outside leg over the inside foot and put this outside foot on the pole. Of course, you don't need to take your hands off the pole if you don't want to. You can take your hands back on the pole either way round, but you're going to invert and straddle to the side of the top arm. I like to take my bottom arm in a claw grip or swan grip or whatever you call it, but you can also take this into a normal invert grip. If you take your head and chest to the side of the bottom arm as much as possible, you can take the weight out of your legs and hold a little straddle. Once you're in your straddle, it's actually a lot easier just to take that top leg past the pole and invert than it looks like it should be. And from here, you can hook your outside leg, release your bottom hand and regrip before coming back down to the floor. Or of course, you can add on as many moves as you like. <laughs> Split heel pose to a flatline Scorpio, to a climb over, into an apprentice, to a Marley, to a shoulder mount butterfly. The height matters a lot for this combo, so try to keep your body as high as possible in the first two moves. From your split heel pose, you're taking your top arm into a twisted grip and make sure you're by the calf, not at the heel. You can then push with the bottom arm as you swipe the bottom leg off of the floor. Your head comes to the other side and you can pop your shoulder through before coming into an inside leg hang. Now remember to go into a flatline Scorpio because that's the move we're doing next. So take your outside hand, thumb up above your inside hand and pull, and then your inside hand can come low to go into your flatline Scorpio. Make sure your outside hand comes behind the outside leg as you climb over, and the higher you climb over, the easier it's going to be for the last few moves of this combo. If you want to invert from this position and go higher, of course you can do. Make sure your inside hand slides nice and low as you lean back into your apprentice and try to slide your top arm down and off the pole as you start to hook that top knee just so that hand doesn't get trapped on the pole. You can then cross your ankles over to go into a Marley and that bottom arm can come off the pole or stay on. You should have plenty of grip in that top knee to be able to go into your shoulder mount butterfly. So really, really pull with both arms as much as you can as you kick the bottom leg away from the pole. 
As with any move, only do this last move if you have enough height and you feel secure in this move. You might just want to end your combo on the Marley. I like to then come through a straddle to finish, so you're looking up towards the ceiling and tucking up as much as possible. The more you then lower your butt, the less likely you're going to be on the collarbone and it's happy days for the end of the combo. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you want a few little tips for your flatline Scorpio, I've got that video for you as well. Bye now!